That party was great. And in local news today, a tragedy hits the area. A young man found under the central bridge dead today. Apparently mauled to death by something we don't know. Body was identified as uh, young Nathan Ray of SUNY Cobleskill. What the hell? Na dead? What's happened last night? I gotta go get bad. You watch the news at all today? No. Nathan, he was on. He got killed last night. What? Dude, he was at the party yesterday. I know. He was apparently mauled by something out there on his way home. They don't know what, though. Right. Tonight, yeah. we'll go into that bridge and find out what killed him. You're a brave man. You know it. All right. Let's go. What was that? This is grabbing him and tore him to pieces. What are these things? We just killed so many people. My friends. Two of them. What? What are they? Google knows everything. Research is done by Dr. Dracula Franken. Gotta find this person, whoever he is. I gotta know how to stop these things. The contact info is here. Would you be Dr. Dracula Franken? Indeed I am. I sent you an email. Quite some urgency. I did receive your electronic correspondence. Why the urgency of this meeting? Where pigeons? By God! Charles, take a seat. There's nowhere to sit. Apologies. These are some of my students. Oh, you teach about where pigeons? No. They're students in my human sexuality for their modern teenager 101 course. Ladies, why don't we end for today? But be sure to read Chapter 3, Anal Entrepreneurism, for your class on Monday. Be prepared. So tell me what you know, everything you know, about were pigeons. Were pigeons. My former colleague, Dr. Man Jekyll Hydeson, Genetically altered pigeons in an attempt to find a cure for the gout, but something went wrong. The pigeons went mad. 
They revolted and escaped the lab. From what I understand, they've been living under the bridge at the edge of campus ever since. And from what I also understand, they've been feeding on the blood of drunken students. So your research said they only feed on the blood of drunken students. Why? Because just like dirty, dirty, dirty hobos, they are addicted to the alcohol they find in the blood. Oh, so I can just set them on fire like the hobos back home. One, they fly. They're a lot quicker than your average hobo. And you're not seeing the bigger picture here, Charles. And that is... Think about it, Charles. Uh... Because of their diet, they have a constant blood alcohol level of at least 0.25, Charles. What? The fat girls, Charles! They'll be coming to have sex with the fat girls! Oh my god. Charles, it is up to you to protect the virtue of the plus-size ladies on this campus. How do I do that? Find man Jekyll Hydeson and kill him. How is they gonna stop the weird pigeons? I don't know, but he once borrowed $50 from me, and I found out he used it to buy prophylactics and toys to use on my sister. I hope there's still time. Run, Charles! It's up to you to protect the big-boned women of this campus! This is where my friends died. Come on, you damn wear pigeons! <clears throat> you! Come on! Where's that coming from? What is that? <laughs> so, the doctor's ace in the hole, Charles. Man, Jekyll Hydeson? Precisely. You're causing all this, you madman. Is it mad to save your loved one? What are you talking about? Good doctor didn't tell you is that I used this to save his sister's life from gout. I quite angry with you. Where pigeons dismiss him. Where's my where pigeons? Dead. All dead. Oh, this can't be. Ah! Back. This world is at peace, and fat chicks can rest easy. Take her out for a meal If a daddy's poor, just do what you feel Speedy